What's up, YouTube? Demix here today. Here's over my top 10 predictions of E3 of 2016. Pretty much giving you guys an idea of what we might expect from this year's E3. Starting with number 10 is an NX teaser. Now, I'm not expecting NX to be fully present at E3. I know Nintendo's showing off The Legend of Zelda for Wii U and such, showing off how that game pretty much works. But I'm not, if we don't get at least like an NX tease, I'm going to be pretty disappointed and shocked, honestly. Because, I mean, Nintendo, they need to, they need to step up their game. Like, they're... Their, their track record right now, it's, it's not looking pretty good, so an NXT is definitely be grateful, in my opinion. At number 9 is a Horizon Zero Dawn release date or a delay, because I'm really hoping that Horizon Zero Dawn just does come out this year, but something tells me it just might get delayed to 2017, which I guess I'm okay with, honestly. This game does look pretty great. I really can't wait to get my hands on this game. It looks phenomenal, but I, something tells me it just might get delayed or we might get a good... Hopefully it gets like announced for like holiday 2016, but... If not, I feel like it will be delayed. And number eight is a Halo 6 teaser. Now, I know Halo Wars 2 is probably going to have a strong presence uh, at E3, but I, would, I wouldn't I would be surprised if Microsoft uh, gives a little taste of what we might expect from Halo 6. And number seven is a new Assassin's Creed reveal trailer. Now, I know Assassin's, and there's not going to be a new Assassin's Creed game this year because, there, I mean, there is a movie coming out and such, but I feel like they will at least give us a tease of the new game probably set in ancient Egypt. I would prefer Feudal Japan, but what, you get, what can you do? At number six is Scalebound co-op gameplay. Now there was a tease of co-op gameplay for Scalebound, I think last year's E3, which was pretty, which looked pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I really am hyped for Scalebound. Some people say it doesn't look that great, but I think it looks amazing. I think the frame, they just need to fix the frame rate, it's all good. I really can't wait to see more of this world that uh, Platinum Games has built up. I think Scalebound is definitely gonna be one of the best games on the Xbox One, so hopefully we get a release date as well, but I really am interested to know how the co-op's gonna work in that game. At number five is ReCore gameplay. Now, ReCore is set to be uh, released early in 2016, but now it looks like, I don't know what's it, what's up with this game. I hope we get some gameplay of ReCore this year's E3, and it's probably gonna be released in 2017. I don't, I don't expect it to come out this year, but we'll have to wait and see. At number four is Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer possibly a release window i'm not sure i mean maybe it's too early for a release window i was hoping it would come out like on uh 2017 to uh, like like it's uh what is that like it's 20th anniversary or something like that but but i really hope we get more final fantasy 7 i know they're probably gonna focus on final fantasy 15 and other square enix properties but i would i would definitely love to see a final fantasy 7 trailer because this game does look pretty good besides the episodic thing hopefully they they address like what's what's that all about i'd really like to know uh, in the future and number three is Rockstar announcing two games. Now, I know Rockstar doesn't have a huge presence at E3, but I feel like they are going to announce Red Dead Redemption 2 in their agent game, which is a stealth action game. So hopefully that's the case. I really am hyped for Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 if that actually is a real thing, because Red Dead Redemption is, one, I think, one of the best games of the previous console generation. I really did enjoy that game. Definitely 10 out of 10 masterpiece. And agent is a new IP for Rockstar, so I definitely appreciate them creating new content. We'll have to wait and see that, how that goes. I don't think they're going to announce another GTA anytime soon, but who knows? They might surprise us. And number two is a God of War 4 reveal trail. I love God of War, and if the rumors and the concept art is true, and it's taking place in Norse mythology, that's just awesome. I can't wait to take on Odin, Thor, Loki, all those diff all those Norse mythology creatures. It would just be fantastic. I really enjoy it. Hopefully there actually is a God of War 4, because honestly, God of War is one of the best series on PlayStation. No doubt about it. And at number one, I gotta go with my Kingdom Hearts, you know, fandom. Uh, I feel like they're gonna show off Kingdom Hearts 2.8, show off some Aqua gameplay in the Realm of Darkness, and maybe a Kingdom Hearts 3 show that shows off new worlds, characters, and some actual game, more gameplay. I mean, that would be amazing. That would that would be my perfect E3. I mean, that's everything I'm looking forward to. Now, I know there's other games out there like Mass Effect Andromeda, The Last Guardian. I could have talked about Gears of War 4, but I know that's coming. You know, I, I think... Uh, there's a lot of other games that there are, people are anticipating, like The Last of Us 2, but those games that I have on my list, they're, they're more on my radar, I should say. So let me just come to down below. What are your predictions for this year's E3? Like, subscribe, more content than me on E3 and other games in general. I'm DemoLex. Awesome in the future.